Well, if you plan to catch a flight soon, make sure you know the rules. The federal transit mask mandate has been in place since last January, but in states without mask mandates in place, are you still required to wear one at the airport? We sent this one to the Verify team. Here's Evan Kozlov. A keystone in U.S. politics since the very beginning has been the battle between state and federal control. So when states like Texas and Florida signed laws banning mask mandates, plane and train riders were left wondering, where do the federal mask mandates on transit start and end? So let's verify. When it comes to conflicting state and federal mask mandates, which do you follow? Our sources are law professor Mark Graber and Walter Olson from the Cato Institute. And they both say that when interstate travel is involved, like on a plane or a train, it's federal regulations that are going to take the top billing. The Supreme Court has usually ruled that if the federal government has taken over regulation of an area, then it gets to regulate it thoroughly. Uh, now, that's true of many of the transportation areas. And Graber added via email that regulation extends to channels of interstate travel, meaning things like train stations and airports. So we could verify that federal mask mandates do supersede bans on the state level. With your Verify, I'm Evan Kozlov. And remember, if you see something online and you aren't sure if it's true before you share it, send it to the Verify team. Just email verify at 13newsnow.com.